Good morning. There's a few things I want to talk about and some things I don't want to talk about. So let's talk about what I don't want to talk about first. Don't want to talk about Fort Hood. My condolences to the families that have lost somebody. I'm tired of just hearing another excuse or another reason to go off on Arab people. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm just don't want to deal with that shit. No Fort Hood for me. Um, it's because I've already heard negativity about the Arab people based on this Fort Hood shit, and I do not want to go there because the Arab people I know, well, what are you saying now? Now you don't know the people no more? You, you don't, you know, the same people you see in and out? You don't know them? You don't know what they're going to do? Think about Timothy McVeigh. Think about the lady who drove her kids down into the ramp and blamed it on a carjacker, identified him, looked for him, pleaded for her kids for weeks. You have to think about a lot of people in American history that were not of color, that have done atrocities, that have committed atrocities. The two kids in uh, Columbine. Another thing that I don't want to talk about is a 16-year-old girl that raped in Richmond, California, outside a homecoming dance by five or six guys. This is what I don't like. One, a girl was raped. People walked by for hours as this girl was brutalized by a bunch of fucking animal pieces of crap right outside. Um, there was white kid, black kid, couple of Mexican guys, whatever, five or six guys, whatever. Just, all you see on the news is the black kid going to jail. I'm tired of watching this shit. It's bad enough this fucking piece of shit kids are doing this shit to other kids or anybody that for only one side of it to be shown. This white kid's face has not been seen yet. Uh, two of the Mexican guys faces have been shown these bastards raped a 16 year old girl they're all pieces of shit all of them deserve to be fucking placed face forward ass up see what I'm saying that's all I gotta say about that that pisses me off um what I'm going through inside my head is what I don't want to talk about also. It's because the older I get, the more increasingly blatant I see things. It's not like I look for them. It's just that you tend to see bullshit more. Um, oh my God. I remember my wife bought this set. Shit was like real expensive. Get out of my shit. I gotta do my maintenance. When you're a man, you gotta do household maintenance and shit. You gotta do that shit. So, um, what I'm trying to say is that things go on in people's minds and, and it gets cluttered and, you know, I try to use YouTube as a release sometimes. I don't want people sending me negativity. Thus, I want to bring something up. Now, this is what I want to talk about. This is a variety show. If you don't like me singing and trying to make people laugh every blue fucking moon, fuck you. I use my music equipment. I use my RCA headphones. I use my Energizer battery pack to energize the batteries on my JVC video camera. I use the Magix, uh, I forgot, Magix, what's the name of that damn program? The Magic's uh, video producer, video edit 14 or whatever. I need to go buy 15. Um, on top of that, um, I use Fruity Loops for the beats. I use uh, an Akai drum machine. I use my Yamaha keyboard at times. I also have a Casio keyboard. I sit here and I make and I create these beats. When I'm not happy with a song, you can tell. It's on YouTube. When I'm not happy with something, I let everybody see it. So those who do not believe, 
and I'm getting loud now. That I should do my songs on YouTube? Or I should even be on YouTube? Fine. I'm out of here. I'm taking this time to tell people, look at my last video. As you see, it looks crappy. When you have a video program that says it downloads directly to YouTube, I download it, well not download, I mix it down into my computer, high definition. Upload it to YouTube, it does not look correct. So I might just start using that Sony Vegas that I have now. I'm doing this to show people something different. If you don't like my music, fuck you. I'm sorry, this is the language that people use nowadays. I'm not upset with you for telling me I suck and I shouldn't sing, but I tell little kids constantly, if you're on YouTube and you're singing and someone says something hateful to you, don't give in to them. This is somebody who I've seen comment on my videos over the last two years, and this person telling me, oh, I should just Throw in the towel. Give it up. You suck. Get off the mic. Understand this. I am not trying to be Puff Daddy. I'm not trying to be Lips. I mean, uh, Jay Z. I'm not trying to be Eminem. I'm not trying to be Prince. I'm not trying to be anyone other than the real AIX also known as Lonzo Lover, also known as Daddy Lonzo, also known as the Imperial DJ Commander, also known as the Real AIX, and better known as me. So look, they also call me the grandfather of YouTube. They also call me the godfather of the tube. I'm also AIX for life. So how can you tell me that I can't do what I do? If I want to drink a Coors beer, I will have a Coors beer. If I want to drink a Budweiser, I'll have a Budweiser. Whatever I want to do, I can do it because you don't dictate anything to anyone on YouTube, especially, hey, before I make the statement, I gotta check first. I don't think you have any video. And since you don't have no video, I'm gonna break the cardinal rule. This is imported from Mexico. You get it? Imported from Mexico. Yes, I support my neighbors. They support me. You may not have, but hey. Is this a cola? Or is this really a cognac? Is it really? It really ain't coming out, I think. Anyway. So we are civilized do things differently. I could be like in the video, hey, hey, Don Pedro. No. I salute you at 8.01 a.m. Oh, a one finger salute. Before you tell somebody they should get off or quit or give up, come on, man. This is YouTube. I have a variety show. I do a variety of things. I might break down and use my Crayola crayons one day and paint you a picture. But as far as I can see, you're just like those guys that gave me this from the Sonoma County Fairgrounds. You're no different than the people that handed me this three and a half years ago. Changed the way I think about everything because you don't expect that. And you've been tuned. Did you expect that? Son of a bitch.